Okay, let's talk cool cuffs. Long overdue video here. We're going to start with the two inch swivel set and see the parts involved for that. All the cool cuffs are on wandersproducts.com. You can use a little magnifying glass to search on the, the words I'm about to say if you want to find these parts individually. Or we can just start with the starter cuff. You get 200 feet worth of cuffs, okay? Two two inch swivel sets, male and female. Two female swivels, okay? Together along with the male swivel, which acts as a wand cuff, or the reducer, which allows you to get into a one and a half whip hose. You're going to end up with about a 200 foot run. That's what it's designed to help you do. Off of most truck mounts, you're going to get 200 feet. And in addition, you get a starter cuff, which you connect back at the intake port of the truck. Um, and then, of course, you get the most important cool cuff, the reducer insert. So all these words you can find on the store by searching on those names. Reducer insert, starter cuff, reducer set. Male swivel, two inch male swivel, and of course a two inch swivel set. Okay, now let's start at the truck and see what we got. Starter cuff goes on to your intake port. Most uh, two inch intake ports are barbed, but unfortunately that's a restrictive type of thing. I wish we could get away from that. Go to true two inch ID cuffs and use ports that are metal walled, uh, hard walled metal, so we're not restricting so much. Because uh, we're trying to get better vacuum, right guys? And be efficient and fast and easy with our work. The uh, cool cuffs were the first true two inch ID hose connectors. They were also the first two part connector, patented locking, swiveling, tapered threaded connection that blocks off any leakage and then they were later made to swivel okay but um, getting back to the starter it helps emphasize the one and only rule for cool cuffs that is the fireman's rule see I just happened to make it two parts where the male was pointing towards the job I made this starter cuff where the male is pointing towards a job and the fireman happened to do it the same way. They call it the fireman's rule, where the males point towards the fire. The thinking is if a fireman smoked in upstairs, he can't see up or down, he crawls to the nearest hose, finds the hose connector. They use a two-part connector like this. They know all the males are pointing inside, so the females must be pointing outside, so they just crawl towards the females and they're out of that house. Or structure that's burning down okay fireman's rule it's the only rule we go by with cool cuffs okay so intake port gets a starter you can lay out your hoses and drop a cool cuff between each hose and the male should be screwed on to one hose the female onto the other so that this connector is actually connecting two hoses that's kind of the, the theory of the deal now if you want to get into the uh, other starter kit it's identical except we're featuring the two inch latch set instead of the swivel this was like my second generation cuff the first one i used without the latch worked great till about the second year and one day it came apart on me freaked me out uh oh my cool cuffs are screwed what do i do eventually we thought up this latch it might seem hokey but it's pretty durable it won't slide out it's very durable actually these cuffs can give you like nine years I've heard of guys getting nine years out of these so you get the same deal you get two complete latch sets you get two female latched parts you get a male swivel you get a starter cuff you get a reducer set that same reducer set that's in the other the uh, swivel set starter kit um, by the way, this cuff's another 9-year, 10-year cuff. You're not going to get that out of vinyl or anybody else that's knocked me off. These are original, long-lasting cuffs. And then you got that 
that reducer insert. Here's why it's the most uh, important cool cup. Because instead of going from two inch to one and a half inch hose, we're going from two inch to a one and a half inch wand cup, which you can put on your, your one and a half inch tools, your wands, your stair tools, your upholstery tools. This is a very durable cuff, and now we're eliminating the whip, which is very important because what? Our number one question, how long is it going to take to dry? With this part, you can eliminate the whip, which is the biggest robber of vacuum there is. Now you're getting better dry times by definition. You get rid of that whip, you're automatically going to get better dry times. I know a lot of you guys say, hey man, I ain't going to use a two inch hose going to my wand, it's too stiff. Well, hello little better hose, you've never used it or you wouldn't be saying that. I've had guys tell me that my two inch little better is more flexible than their one and a half. So get ready to get rid of your whip, it's, it's pretty much old school technology. It's great for the truck mount guys to sell to their entrepreneur, never cleaned a carpet customers. Oh sir, your techs are going to love your our one and a half inch hose. It makes it so easy for them to get through their busy day. Yeah, baloney. Get a little better and all that problem is, is not a problem anymore. Two inch to one and a half inch tools is what this is for. This tool, this cup, the male swivel is really pretty good for going from two inch hose to a two inch tool. Uh, like yeah, I first made this for all the guys with the pro chem titaniums that did not like my male cool cuff locking down on their tools. So we made it swivel here. So now this works on any two inch tool, uh, pro chem titanium Westpac 14 by two is another very popular two inch tool. Uh, you got the Rotovac, of course, uh, RX 20, anything two inch. Here's your wand cuff. Okay. Now, if I was going to make a two inch starter kit which I don't this would be it basically we're talking about a truck mount that the guy wants to add 50 foot a two and a half inch hose that's fair what's he need to do that same as he needs with the two inch starter kit he needs a two inch or two and a half inch starter this is designed to go over a two and a half inch port uh, some of the Newer trucks have it now, uh, like the Steamway was the original truck mount to have two and a half. This would slide right over it, and following the fireman's rule, we got a male pointing towards the fire, right? You would buy one two and a half inch swivel set, or you'd get that if you were buying the starter kit. Uh, so you would look for these on the store. Two and a half starter, two and a half swivel set, okay? Um, if you were going to do multiple lengths of hose, that's what you would want, a swivel set like that. If you're going to uh, go multiple lengths or one length, whatever, eventually you got to reduce down, right, to two inch. Um, you want to end up going from a two inch swivel set to a two, uh, two and a half inch swivel set to a two inch swivel set, excuse me. And the way we do this is with this barbed reducer. This was designed to work with little better vac hose. It fits in nice and snug. It won't pull out unless you're hanging from buildings, which you shouldn't be doing anyhow. If it's loose, you can do one wrap of electrical tape, but you shouldn't need it with a little better. It was designed, cool cuffs and little better evolved pretty much simultaneously together. Okay, that's why it's the best hose, these best cuffs. This is equivalent to a two inch external vac hose. So the two inch male cool cuff screws right onto it. So this is what the end of your two and a half hose would look like. The reason I made this internal is because the two and a half is already a big fat hose. Why make it any bigger? Sure, I could have made an external reducer, but it's gonna be even bigger than the two and a half already is. And aren't we trying to reduce at this point? Why go big if we wanted to go small? The people that made external reducers aren't carpet cleaners. They don't realize that big stuff catches on stuff. We don't want that. We want little stuff when we're tapering down, right? Get the barred reducer. That's what it looks like. And get one two inch swivel set. And follow the fireman's rule so that you got the males pointing towards the job. Okay, so there's your male. 
This female would screw onto your two inch hose going inside. You're done. Two and a half inch starter cuff. One starter, one two and a half swivel set, one barb reducer, one two inch swivel set. Of course, that's just going to get you for one fifty foot of two and a half. If you needed multiple lengths of two and a half inch hose, you would buy one two and a half inch swivel set for every fifty foot of hose, right? Or for every section of hose. Some guys use like uh, two fifty footers of two and a half, but they reduce one of them cut it in half so they've got the equivalent of three two and a half inch hoses and they'll pull off a 25 footer when they want to or only use a 25 footer when they want to all this leads up to uh, one of the main objectives with cool customers which was to give you guys some versatility in your work and uh, which led to a group of products that we call a max vac package this here's a two and a half inch y it points towards the truck with the two port end the single port points towards the job and there's the fireman's rule male pointing towards the fire okay back pointing towards the truck a lot of truck mounts have the two two inch ports on the waste tank right guys so you can run two two inch hoses to this two and a half inch Y and you've got the equivalent of four inches of airflow two in each hose right um, the way you do that is with this part here, you'd get two of these. The external reducer is what this thing is called. The two and a half to two external reducer. It's the only one called an external reducer. Key on those words. I don't use part numbers because I ain't got that many parts. And I'm selling the cleaners who care about cleaning and they just want to know what parts are called. Okay, we don't need numbers for that. All right, two inch female pointing towards the truck is going to connect to a two inch starter cuff if you want or you see how that would work or you could connect it to a two inch hose that comes off the truck mount and screws in here via the two inch male so that's one way to connect to this Y it's just one there's several ways let's say you wanted to connect a uh, two and a half inch hose off of your truck. You can do two, two and a halfs, right like that. Real quick and easy. It actually seals very well, sucks on, locks down. You could run two, two and a half hoses to the Y and have basically two and a half plus two and a half or five. We call that five to the door. Okay. Personally, my testing on this is said, forget five to the door, four to the door. You don't lose anything. So why, why get crazy and get cumbersome with two two and a halfs you don't need it this would be a good way to accomplish that with the external reducer and, sw and two inch swivel sets and then the job end you would want to go to two and a half so you'd have a male a female connected to your two and a half inch hose on down the line until you wanted to reduce from two and a half down to two okay via the barbed reducer and a two inch swivel set all right, more on the MaxVac package. All that is uh, short for uh, MVP is short for MaxVac package. We're trying to come up with a unique set of hose cuffs combinations to give you fast, efficient setups and teardowns and fast dry times. Okay, remember the number one question, how long is it going to take to dry? That can be answered with the simple discussion of who's got the strongest suction. I don't care how strong your truck mount is, you're losing suction going through all this stuff. Even the big hose, big hose, small hose, any hose at all, you ain't got the same suction inside that you do at the truck, obviously, right? Hose kills suction. We've seen that, especially pronounced with the one and a half inch hose. Nobody should be using one and a half at all for any reason. Even upholstery, I mean, it's kind of a cop out to use it for upholstery too, although we don't really need the suction so we can get away with it but for a wand moving fast rx20 a rotor vac anything you're you're wanting to cover some ground you want to follow the three cardinal rules of the max vac package which is keeping your hose runs short fat and straight the bigger the hose the better the shorter the hoses the better and the straighter the hoses the better 
the more you bend your hose, air flow is just like light flow. You want to bend light, you see the separation of all the wavelengths into the colors. It's breaking down the spectrum, isn't it? Airflow, same deal. We want to keep it straight and big and unrestricted as possible. You do that with the Y connector, you do that with big hose, and you do it with short hose runs and straight hose runs. So what's that say about a live vacuum hose reel? Is that about the stupidest thing you've ever heard of? If you're actually trying to get good dry times, it is. It absolutely is. All right? You got a live back hose reel, pull the hose off, get it straight, then hook it up. And only hook up as much as you need. That same theory applies to the solution hose reels, but we can talk about that another day. A couple of max back packer packages use different Ys. Here's the two and a half, here's the two. See, totally different Ys. In this case, they're both using starter cuffs. One's got the two and a half starter, one's got the two inch starter. You can see they're obviously different sizes, okay? You can get your own short segments of hose and put them onto these Y connectors. It's impossible, well, not really, look, that went right on, but it's typically really hard to get these vacuum hoses onto these Ys but if you warm them up in water, not a heat gun, but just warm hot water, you'll be able to get them on. And think again what we're doing with the Ys, even a two inch Y. We can bring two two inch hoses to the Y and come off with a single two inch hose. We used to call that four to the door, right? Still do. Two plus two is four, kind of a generic name, four to the door. We used to put these Ys at the door of the house, not the door of the van. And then shrinkage would set in, guys would get lazy and that van would creep back, I mean the Y would creep back to the van. I called that cre uh, shrinkage because guys, are, we're all naturally lazy. We want it to be easy and we forget the benefit of 50 feet out. Yeah, but that's kind of a hassle. So they creep the, the Y back. They'll take a 50 footer, cut it in half. Now they're only 25 feet out from the van. Okay. And remember this too. We've done a ton of CFM to verify all the stuff I'm telling you. One of the things we learned is on, on the bigger blowers, wherever the Y is, that's where the truck is. So you got a five, six blower or bigger five, nine, whatever, wherever this Y is, that's where the truck is. You're putting the truck on the front porch. Yeah. You're putting the truck 25 feet closer yeah it's that powerful now one thing led to another and everybody was using the little one pool filter right and guys would call okay Joe I did the cool cuffs did the Y got so much suction now my little pool filters filling up in 10 minutes what do I do so that's like my fault no I mean we're trying to get you the most suction possible it's not my fault your filler filters filling up so fast it's just evidence, it's clear proof that we're accomplishing what we wanted. The guy sucking the hardest should be getting the most money. He should be able to answer the question, looking him right in the eye and say, I'm doing all the things I invested in the stuff that are getting me better dry times. Thank you for asking. Okay, the Y is one of them. Um, the dual two-inch hoses is one of them. but we're filling up that filter too fast? Well, my only answer was, how about two filters? So I got the guys to using two pool filters side by side here, then going through the Y. Well, that's crazy. Who wants to deal with two filters? Now we're getting more cumbersome with their MaxVac package. It didn't work very well. How about do port conversions on one or two filters? So I had them doing that, where we were actually drilling out the ends of those clear pool filters and installing like the equivalent of a true two and a half inch cup on the front and back which was awesome it was giving them even more flow which forced them into using two filters so finally i started telling everybody got to go to a bigger filter somebody's got to make us a bigger filter that's where the devastator came from and that's what led into uh, the silver bullet now we've got both of those at our disposal look at that Dual ports in the back, one port in the front. 
Isn't that exactly what we got with the Y connector? Two in the back, one in the front. Add a little bit of filtration. Two in the back, one in the front. Add filtration. We got two birds with one stone. We got a bigger, better filter, twice the capacity of a pool filter. Real easy ports to slide onto. You could have this as a single two inch, but why would you want, if you could do two? Why do one when you could do two? Or a single two and a half back here would be better than a single two. Remember, airflow is a function of the cross-sectional area. There's no way you're gonna get as much air going through here as you are through two of these, right? It's just simple math. A more popular recent trend is to get the ports turned vertical. So this one's always breathing at 100%. Even if you're collecting water down here or you have a lot of debris in your filter, this one is still breathing. This one ha actually proves out to flow more air long term throughout the job than having the ports horizontal. 